Terry Pfeiffer, Queen City Concessions of Helena. Uh, we only do the donuts just a few times a year. Well, I know it dates back to at least the late 80s, and the people that were doing it before me started in about 98 or so, and I bought it in uh, late summer 2003 after the fair, you know, after watching the mini donut line and waiting in the mini donut line. It's quite an honor to be able to buy it for it to even come up for sale, so. Well, there's a lot of attraction to the machine, you know. Uh, people eat them and, you know, they speak for themselves, it, you know, it's happiness. A lot of people come to the fair just for, specifically for the donuts. Well, I was here for probably 12 to 14 hours on Thursday and it leads up to about, you know, 18, 16, 18 hours a day. So over the course of, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, it's 80, 90 plus hours over a short period of time. It's actually pretty easy to take care of. You know, it's a high quality machine, so it's really not, and, and all the boxes are sealed too, so you can't actually work on them. It has to go to the factory in order to be worked on. But it is a relatively maintenance free machine. You know, the donuts, will have problems if the mix isn't done correctly, you know, you might have to fix something somewhere along the way. I'm pretty dialed in from yesterday and I haven't had too many problems that way I can just kind of walk away and make can do its thing. I have an odometer on the back of this hopper here that keeps track of how many we, how many are cut, yeah. Yeah, we keep track. I believe it's, it came around somewhere around the 40s when rationing was more prevalent, you know, that's kind of where the mini donuts, you know, they just make smaller portions. After you've taken a bite of one, you can see what I mean. They're creamy, they're, you know, it makes you forget about everything bad.